Hey guys, Lieutenant Gonzalez here with the uh, East Lansing Police Department. We're back with another video and we wanted to give you some tips on how you can spot a police impersonator. So we had an incident recently where an individual was stopped by what he thought was a police officer. Subsequent investigation determined that this individual was actually an impersonator. So we're here to give you some tips on how you can determine whether or not the person you're talking to is a real police officer or a fake one. So let's start with our police car. Our police cars are very recognizable and put together in a very professional manner. As you move back, you'll notice big bold lettering says East Lansing Police on it. This is uh, standard with both models of our uh, patrol vehicles and very noticeable. So when we come around to the back of the vehicle, you'll notice that we've also got police labeled on the back along with East Lansing in a very distinctive manner. Two important points here. One, you'll notice that our vehicles have a municipal license plate. All police cars will have that municipal license plate on it. Lastly, we've numbered our, our vehicles here at East Lansing. Our vehicles are numbered from nine to 21 and it's marked uh, up front near the front bumper and then also in the back here. Different agencies will number their vehicles differently, but you can, you can count on an identification number to each police vehicle. So if you're close enough to see the inside of our vehicles, you should notice a lot of equipment inside. Radar, you'll notice a radio, quite likely a laptop computer, and then also um, more equipment down in the center console here. Another thing that you'll notice if you're looking inside the front windshield is you'll see a radar mounted on the dashboard and you'll also see a in-car camera uh, mounted on the windshield. Our cars are marked and heavily lit up. You'll see a full top light bar, you'll see lights and strobes in the front bumper and also the front headlights, and then you'll see lights and strobes in the back lights as well. One thing that we find quite often with a police impersonator is that they might only have a small light on their hood, they might have a small light in their dash just inside the window, and that's a telltale sign that something's amiss. So there's a quick tour of some of the important points on our police car. Now I'm going to turn you over to Officer Hamilton. He's one of our patrol officers and he can talk to you about what the uniform looks like and give you some more safety tips. Hey guys, I'm Officer Hamilton. I'm, I'm a social media officer. I'm also a road patrol officer. So Lieutenant Gonzalez talked a little bit about what our patrol cars look like. I'm going to go over today what our uniform looks like. So we're going to have a professional uniform. It's going to be put together. Um, ours happen to match, be the same color. Some departments do have uh, different color ones. We're going to have a utility belt or a duty belt that has a firearm on it and a radio. It's going to have all of this equipment. Um, it's not just going to be a gun um, on the side. We will have a badge and that's going to be the most notable thing. Um, not just anybody can get one of these. On here it's going to say police, East Lansing, or the department um, that has obviously the jurisdiction there. And it's going to say officer and we have a number right on that badge. We all wear a name tag. It's going to have our first initial and last name. Um, if at any time you request an ID, we do carry our ID on us. That says City of East Lansing and it's going to have our photo um, of us in the uniform. And it's going to say East Lansing Police Department. So our uniforms are also going to have a patch on each shoulder. Um, it's going to be the same patch and it's going to say East Lansing Police. They're all going to be this style for our particular department. So the older patches are phased out. You're not going to see any of those. So what should you do if you think you're being pulled over by a police impersonator or you're being stopped by an impersonator? A couple things. You can always call 911. Our police officers contact dispatch via radio and they tell the dispatchers what they're doing at every point in the day. If you have any suspicions whatsoever, call 911, tell them what's going on and ask if an officer is actually behind you trying to pull you over. They'll let you know. Another thing that you can do is slow down, uh, turn your hazards on, and if you're close to either a police station or a fire station, don't hesitate to, to go there. Just don't do it in a fast manner because if there is a real police officer behind you, you don't want them to think that you're trying to get away from them. Uh, the last thing to do is if you're not close by it to a uh, police station or a fire station, simply pull into a well-lit, well-traveled, very public area so that you're not alone with an individual that you think is a police impersonator. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure you share this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube page, Facebook page, and our Twitter feed. And remember, stay safe. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. To talk or anything? Just oh, sorry, Carlos. Um, can we shoot that one over again? I, I <laughs> all right. All right, ready? We're filming now. Hey guys, I'm off here. Hey, one second. Sorry.